Let's go to Regina and San McKeg now for details on a story that has a significant connection to Alberta, a story that's likely going to leave a lot of viewers shaking their heads, Sam. Yes, Rob, turns out the president of Saskatchewan's Medical Association has tested positive for COVID-19, but he doesn't believe he got it from treating patients. The SMA shared a letter on Twitter that says Dr. Alan Wu tested positive last night and he believes he got it while at a curling bond spiel in Edmonton last week. That bond spiel included upwards of 50 doctors from all over the country. Here's the other problem. Dr. Wu says he came into contact with patients before self-isolating. Saskatchewan's chief medical health officer weighed in on the investigation around the bond spiel. All that information is being uh, uh, collected and communicated to all the provinces from where people may have come to that event. And what happens as part of this case content investigation is details are sought about um, where each people were, uh, each of the participants were, that certain people sit together as a group and, and uh, mix more than others. And based on that, a determination will be made shortly in a day or two that, you know, does this involve all persons who attend it? Wu is an orthopedic surgeon in Saskatoon, and Rob, he says he's been self-isolating since Tuesday morning when he first noticed the symptoms, and all his appointments and surgeries are being rescheduled. Meanwhile, Alberta's top doctor is telling anyone who attended to self-isolate for 14 days because clearly there was transmission at that event. Wow. Yeah. Uh, curlers touch a lot of rocks, don't they? Um, so every province, Sam, and city has been enacting social distancing measures at different rates. Uh, I wonder what's been happening in Saskatchewan on that front. We're finding that from city to city. The city of Saskatoon closed all of its facilities to the public, including City Hall, effective today. The closure does not apply to essential services like utilities, garbage collection, transit, fire or police. And they're also coming up with plans to help people pay bills and property tax. And they've made a change to city transit. They're not shutting it down, but starting tomorrow, passengers get on through the back door. And it's free, so drivers don't have to collect a fare. In Regina, Mayor Michael Fougere is considering stricter measures around public gatherings. Right now, groups of more than 50 people, not allowed. 50 people meeting together, I think, is too high. Um, the chief medical officer in his comments yesterday talked about four or five people. That, I think, is the, the rule we should follow. And we would be asking the province to review that to say, look, maybe 50 is too many. Do we need to have restaurants and bars open. Um, I'm concerned about uh, community uh, uh, transmission that happens in those areas. Do we need them open now? I think we should ask that question whether we should either ask the province to do that or act our own on our own. Rob, at this point, there are no signs of community transmission in Saskatchewan. Dr. Shahab says all 20 cases in this province are so far related to travel. Sam McKegg in Regina. Thank you, Sam. The union that speaks for legal aid lawyers and staff in Saskatchewan is calling for the release of nonviolent inmates from jails and prisons. QP 1949 says overcrowding in provincial jails and prisons is a health risk to vulnerable populations. Union officials say any COVID-19 outbreak behind bars could pose a serious threat not only to prisoners, but staff and nearby communities. It's asking for nonviolent inmates to be released from correctional centers, including the Prince Albert Penitentiary and the Regional Psychiatric Center. The province says it has no plans to release prisoners at this time.